How's it going out there, guys? You guys doing okay? Yeah, that's all right. I love you all. Legit. From the bottom of my heart. I love the ones of you who stick around and tolerate this foolishness that is the Fifth Column Network that says, hey, you know what? They have technical technical I can't even speak. So if I can't speak, we have technical difficulties. Who who am I? Who am I to, you know, who am I to criticize? To cast stones. I can't cast stones. I these, can't cast stones. In these glass houses we're supposedly living yeah. in. I got a pocket full of stones, though. <laughs> I mean. Long live pimp. They won't, they won't leave your ass alone. They won't leave my ass alone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for maybe even rejoining us or joining us for the first time. Maybe it just popped up. Maybe it, maybe it just popped up. Hi. Welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas list. I am the Revolution, and we are continuing our 12-night series with, what number is this? This is list number four. This is list number four. Best 80s gift. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cranking them out. Cranking them out. Cranking them out. So, um, due to the technical difficulty, uh, what do you believe we should do? Do you think we should just revisit all of them? Should we start over? We're going to start graphics? over. You know, just, I think I'm, I think I'm going to just tell people which, which ones they... You know, we don't even want to do the little nah. Okay, nah, <laughs> nah, fam. I'm all razzle dazzled out. I'm all, I'm all. I have, I have yet to go to Fuckco uh, and to to re up re up my Fuckco account. <laughs> okay, okay, because that is the only place where I can buy said fucks. Mm-hmm. Is by shopping at Fuckco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if I don't pay my bill to go to Fuckco, then I cannot buy said Any. Fucks. None. None. This is where I am. Okay? We went the other day, though. I remember you had got something, and they let it go through. Yeah. So I think you're actually in the negative. You got negative fucks. Yes. Yes. I have negative I am depleted of all. They actually, I actually, what people don't know, I was pulled over and due to the RICO law, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. they came in, they confiscated my car. Mm-hmm. Then they came to my home. They put my whole family down on the ground and they went and they took everything out of the house. So mm-hmm. they took all, they took every single fuck that I owned. This is because of your pocket full of stones? Because of the pocket full of stones. Comment? Yes. Um, Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> that's from uh, Heather Walker. Of course yeah, it of is. Course <laughs> it is. Uh, of course it is. And due to the fact that I don't have any, I don't have any answers. So I'm not playing any of these reindeer games <laughs> sponsored in part by Fuckco. Not playing them. Nah. Nah. So uh, number 10 was the Skip It. Skip It. Yep. Skip It. We talked two. about that. 80s hula hoop counter. Yeah. Big time. Good to go. All right. Number nine, mm-hmm. uh, Lego Duplo Baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's good times right. for babies. Legos said, hey, let's do it for kids. Let's do it for the kids. Little, little kids. Hey, bada beep, bada boop, Lego. Boop. Hey, bop, bop. My okay. son had Duplos. Blah. Bop. Okay. Uh, and number eight, where we left off at, mm-hmm. uh, was the teddy bear of all teddy bears. Oh, yes. Uh, because you had glowworm, you had. You you had a lot of oh, bear care yes, bears, care bears, you, rainbow bright. Rainbow, you had too many bears, and and stuff stuffed novelty, uh, you know, anamorphic beans. Yeah, yeah. That was coming into your home to do stuff to your kids. Mm-hmm. So um, this one, I think Teddy Ruxpin was the is the teddy bear of all teddy bears. I, I have to interrupt this yeah. um, fuckless broadcast mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. to interject a little bit. Mm-hmm. So. 
I wanted Teddy Ruxpin so bad. Yeah. And spoiler alert, my parents didn't buy it for me. Okay. But we were doing something at school. I don't remember why. Mm-hmm. And I decided that I was going to do a little presentation about Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> so there was this <laughs> there was this little thing that we were built. So it was like a piece of wood that, and then there was a, a window, sort of like for, for puppet shows. Right? Oh, okay. okay. So I went up into the window, and I stood up so you could see my face, and I was Teddy Ruxpin, and then I ran around the other side and sat up, and I was the kid talking to Teddy Ruxpin, and I was going back and forth putting on a one-man show wow. about Teddy Ruxpin. What grade is this? Oh, man, I was, I had to have been like seven or eight. So wow. Let's see. Cause, yeah, because that would have been 84. When did Teddy Ruxpin come out? Why is this giant? It's just, you're, like, was, all I look at you and I see sword. Just, okay. Everything's, everything's going very odd today. I'm going to get this. Well, now it looks this, like Voltron yeah. is happy. Yeah. <laughs> It's not Voltron. It's it's Notron. It's Notron. Yeah, this That's is the right. toy that From no fuck fucko makes. <laughs> this is the this is the actual yes toy yes. fucko makes. Yes, it's Notron. So yeah, so Lala Keisha Holmes said doing the most. I assume she's talking about me. Mm. I do do the most sometimes. Yes, at, you were at, running back and forth. I was running okay. back and forth, okay. doing the most. Doing the All most. All right. So, uh, I I think I mentioned yesterday. I actually had a vintage. Uh, first generation Teddy Ruxpin yes. in the box still, just like my Mr. T. Yes. Here, I lost it in, the, in my divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, we did talk about that. Yeah. Things we lost in the fire. Yeah. No, it, oh, no, she did burn. You do know she burned a bunch of my belongings, right? I didn't know it. I did you know it. You did know that. Uh, my fraternity letter, mm-hmm. uh, the cane, the, oh, my big book. No, she burned all of it. Yeah. My jacket, she burned all of it. Yeah. But because she took all the memorabilia that made me sexy, yeah. and and she she threw it yep. into yep. she threw it into a fire. Will not be. And the main thing that she was trying to burn. Do you remember my my uh, collection of letters mm. over the years? Pimpology. Pimpology one hundred and one. My memoirs. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I had a collection. Which camera? I had a collection of letters that I had started collecting from the sixth grade. Man. And it was it was huge, and it was gonna be the basis of my memoirs, and so I remember it was sitting on the fireplace. Yep. Because I had taken out, I was mm-hmm. doing an assessment, and I had taken it out, and so she saw that uh, I was gone. My son and I went to a pay per view, mm-hmm. and we came back. Uh, she had destroyed my other car. She had bent the doors backwards. She had slashed the tires with one of my two hundred dollar chef knives. Um, she got rid of all my clothes. She took all my clothes to the local Goodwill. I didn't have anything. Uh, and But you know what she didn't destroy? You know what she didn't give up? You know what she did not destroy? Your comic books. My comic books. And let me say this. Do you know why? Do you why? know why she... No, she, you, she, it would have. She knew that that would have been the tipping point yes. to push you over the edge. The yes, not death. the tens and thousands of dollars in my wardrobe. Not, you know, my, my, my car, you know, one of the cars, she, she knew. And, and Jesus, let me tell you something. When I tell you Jesus is real, Jesus is real. Because her slip slap goofy dumbass knew better than to destroy them comics. Because I wouldn't be sitting here. Mm-hmm. I'd be behind bars going, image Marvel as. was the case that they gave me. By Tyrone Green. I'd be doing prison mm-hmm. poems and ciphers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but long story, she took the Teddy Ruxpin. Right. In the divorce. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, she took the Teddy. Along with a lot of my dignity and my self-esteem. Mm-hmm. At that point, I got it all back, though, because you know what? <laughs> I pops up like toast, baby. Yeah, you can't keep a good nigga down, baby. <laughs> Woo! I said I pops up like toast, baby. And due to my mother having a phenomenal credit score, mm-hmm. um, lots of uh, income to yes. re-supply me and right. my lifestyle. And so yeah. I could flex, but it was all Don S. <clears throat> Shout out to Don S. for getting a nigga back on his feet. <laughs> Again, I pops up like toast. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we move on? <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> shall we? I said, shall we move on? Oh. The number seven. <laughs> the 
the number seven Christmas 80s toy of all <laughs> is... Ladies and gentlemen, it was uh, Power Wheels. Power, 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 power wheels. wheels. Power, power, power wheels. wheels. Power Wheels. Power makes it go. There you go. I remember so many of these damn theme songs. Commercials. Commercials. Yep. Commercials, yes. Power Wheels, number yep. seven. I think Power Wheels was just like the real wheels. It was the, the most vanity. Wow, what are, you, what are you looking like that for? Heather Walker said, let's move on, please. Okay. Blocker. <laughs> blocker blocker Blocked. from this show block um i don't think she's blocked <laughs> nah, no, somebody out phone. there should uh <laughs> nobody wants to hear her snark uh power wheels man yeah I, again one that i really always wanted and you never got never i think got. when power wheels i was too big for a power wheel um, uh, my little sister had a power wheels yeah she had one and i was jealous yeah, yeah. Power wheel, like you go, damn man, because you you were too old to get a power wheel and not big enough to get like a go kart or something right, like that. So right. you were just in dumbass four wheel limbo, like you couldn't do anything. So did you ever go to like a relative or a friend's house who had a younger yeah. sibling and went ahead and rode it anyway? No, I drove around in my little sister's <laughs> yeah, power oh, right, wheel. That's right. <laughs> I sat on the top of the. You couldn't sit <laughs> in, so the I feet. sat. I sat on it and pushed my feet in, and I drove yes. around very slowly yes. because it was hauling my, probably at that time, about 70-pound big ass mm -hmm. in this power wheel. It was awful. It was awful. I don't care. There's no shame. Yeah. Power wheels made the list, though. Yeah. Power wheels without is number doubt, seven. Without, without a doubt. Doubt. Yeah. Okay. And those are another toy that's still around. They're st that's staying power. Mm -hmm. Longevity. Staying power wheels. Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> at number six is... Wellity, wellity, wellity. Yeah. Trivia Pursuit, baby. That one, let me tell you. Trivia Pursuit. Caught me off guard, but Trivia was Pursuit. Trivia Pursuit. an excellent addition to this list. Trivia Pursuit. Like you couldn't, you couldn't put on there Monopoly. It was a lot of board games. Uh, my brother actually said Operation. Those games were old. Like they were yeah. way well before the '80s. Yep. And Trivia Pursuit came out, and I think the reason why when we mentioned was that yeah, lots of hearts on, that. on Trivia, Trivia yeah. Pursuit. Oh, yeah. And I want to tell you this, guys. When you talk about longevity, yes, right. This game has had this one. I own this unopened Trivial Pursuit Volume Two, mm -hmm. unopened. This thing is valuable. Mm -hmm. It's very valuable. But you had SNL Trivial Pursuits. You right. had Simpsons. You had there are so many versions. Eighties. Yep. Eighties of this game. And not only think about what you can't go to any pub now, on all a right. Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday night, with, and they don't have trivia. Yep. And it's all because of Trivial Pursuit. Yep. You know, everyone loves playing trivia games, and this is the one that started it all, Trivia mm -hmm. Pursuit. Yeah. One of the best games, long running, a lot of longevity. Yes. I, think it's, I, think, I think that on this list, that is a proper position. Oh, for sure. Number yeah, for sure. six. Yeah, for that. Listen, I, the one toy so far on this list that I actually did have, because my pursuit? family had it, we used to play yeah. all together. Yeah. So... It is very well rated. Um, knowing yeah. what's coming up, yeah. I don't think it would have beat any of the other ones. But man, it, as far as board games go, yeah, yeah, I think on. yeah, I think that's it, and that's why I did that. And there's another game that's on the list, mm -hmm. but we won't say anything else. There's, we won't say anything. Oh, maybe it's a couple games. All right, number oh man, number five, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's controversial, but I think people will think it's controversial. Yeah. So we'll see, ladies talk and gentlemen. At we'll talk about it. At number five is. She-Ra, 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 the princess of power, the princess 
of power. Every woman watching this show right now is power. Going crazy. <laughs> Shira, the princess of power. Listen. Yeah. yeah. I, and I, I'm going to tell you something. And I, I, I saw that. And I didn't say, oh, what's this doing? But I yeah. was just like, huh, how come this one beat He-Man? And the explanation is perfect. Like, it makes, what was the explanation? It makes perfect sense. The explanation was <laughs> that uh-huh. She-Ra was, it beat all the female-driven figures. It mm-hmm. was uh, she was beautiful and bad, right? Yes. Bad yes. and bougie, right? Plus, yeah. um, what, what was Evelyn was... <laughs> Evelyn was and, He-Man, though. And girls had the power. Oh, that's right. Girls yeah. had the power, too. Girl, That was the big, the big argument that I had, right, uh, moving forward with this one. Uh, Jim had a huge impact, but her actual doll was just a reworked Barbie. Mm -hmm. And they had Barbie and the Rockers to actually combat Jim. And Barbie and the Rockers' numbers uh, weren't as big as Jim's because Jim had numbers. Oh, yes. But at the same time, She-Ra, to me, was a a bigger icon. Because Mm -hmm. here it is, you have an action figure for girls, designed exclusively for girls with bright colors, they were fun, but yet and still, she had a sword. Right, she and was. she would talk girls, you can have a sword, and you can kick ass, too. Exactly. And for me, like, I, I hate to tell people this because people are like, oh, okay, like, this whole generation of dudes that are now call themselves feminists. But when you really look at what a feminist is, I've always been a feminist. Mm-hmm. I've always been a huge supporter of my mother and her mm-hmm. career, my mm-hmm. siblings, my female cousins, my female friends. I always wanted them to be equal. I, I never saw them as less than or mm-hmm. something that that wasn't on the same level as me. Uh, one of my favorite cousins, Mona, out there. I've always thought Mona was so smart. Jan, mm-hmm. you got Leah, you got Nicole. Like you got oh, yeah. so, like my entire family is women, yep. and I was educated at the feet of women. So my greatest teachers, Miss Starling, mm-hmm. okay, uh, taught me a lot of verbal skills that I do not use today <laughs> because I am a legitimate moron. <laughs> Nevertheless, she taught me these things. And, and here it is that we had a kick-ass woman. Yeah, yeah. And we had a toy line designed for the girl who wanted to be powerful. Yeah. And she's last long, uh, very last long. And now... Now, She-Ra is even coming out to this generation. Yep. Netflix is getting ready to do an exclusive yep. uh, She-Ra series. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Thoughts. there's that longevity. Um, the, the point that I love the most about this is She-Ra wasn't a toned-down, girly version of He-Man. She no. She was just He-Man as a woman. As a woman. Yeah. Like you said, powerful kick-ass. She had that sword. Like, yeah. she wasn't going to go out there... You know what I mean? With some, I don't know, some powder puffy kind of, yeah. you know, she was in there doing the same thing yeah, she on the man side. Busting walls down, Absolutely. grabbing dudes and throwing and, them across. And they used to, we used to have an argument back then who could win in a fight. And that was an argument. And that was a legit. It wasn't, it wasn't a like, oh man, he made a, no, it was like, mm, yeah. it was a back and forth. Like, she could probably beat him up. Yes. Uh, you got objection from D. Reggie Mathis. Yes. Uh, about Okay. okay. So how old are these people making these comments? They just they're about the same age. So again, uh can you block them? Did did they grow can up? Can you block them too? In the 80s. No, no, don't no, just, don't worry about all it. Just okay, block them. Just blocked. blocked. Just blocked them. I'm gonna turn into <laughs> Reverend <Blocked>. X. <laughs> you the devil, right? <laughs> block that fool. I love Reverend X with the missing tooth. You ever seen his videos on YouTube? No. You never seen him? He'll do like Bible scripture and uh-huh. then he just start cussing people out for like an hour. Like he had one of the public aspect shows. Please, we have to watch him later. Okay, that's happening. That's ha- Please remember that. Yes. Juan says the only thing he remembers from She-Ra is Hornet. And the he's evil incorrect. forces of Hornet. And it's Hordak. Hordak. <laughs> See? So he's wrong. Yeah. You, yeah. you wrong. All y'all wrong. Just shut the hell up. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. This is, prop- again, properly placed, huge, and there's numbers to back it up. It's numbers to back it up. It's numbers to back it up. But speaking of numbers... Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to get real. It is, we, are, we are at the midpoint, and we're moving into uh, the top five yeah, now. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're moving into everything above five. And uh, get ready, because I, I think they're going to start throwing um, tomatoes Maters. and 
cabbages yes, right. and lettuce at us. Yes, they are. Ladies and gentlemen, at number four is... Cabbage Patch Dolls. It's number four. I knew that I knew that Cabbage Patch was going to be number one. I, we talked about this when, when the whole thing first started. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Cabbage Patch. Yeah. Cabbage yeah. Patch, easy. Without a doubt. I was like, Cabbage Patch, easy. Then folks started fact-finding mm -hmm. and started digging and, and, and longevity and, and, and the criteria that we came up with Cabbage Patch yeah. literally failed. Yeah. Failed. Three slots. Three whole slots yeah. to number four. And I think out there people were like, what? Mm -hmm. How? Mm -hmm. What? You can't be serious. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I remember the craze. I still remember yeah. the craze. And I don't think... There was one, and there's others that could be compared. You could talk about yeah. what happened with Tickle Me Elmo and everything, yeah. but it, maybe it's just it was overblown because it was the first big one. Yeah. But I don't think there was a craze ever that beat the Cabbage Patch craze. I, I, I definitely say Tickle Me Elmo, but, like, we didn't grow up in the 70s. We didn't grow up in the 60s, so I'm sure there was, like, my mother, um, Cindy Sue. There was uh -huh. a doll named Cindy Sue. How long have people been fighting for Christmas gifts? Hey, since <laughs> since it was frankincense and myrrh, right. since it was like they went down to the local um, marketplace uh, uh -huh. in Marrakesh, and they was like, my friend, my friend, uh, a, a young lady from my village, my friend, is giving birth to a virgin baby. I have to get the greatest gift known to men. What do you have? I don't want no hookah for no baby. So they didn't do the hookah. Hookah for no baby. They didn't do the hookah. They didn't, they... They had hashish. My friend, I said it was a baby. I do not want that, my friend. What, do, what else do you have? Ah, frankincense. Thank you, a thousand thank yous. And then they, this is really bad. I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. And I'm sitting here like an asshole just letting you go. Yeah, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this. I'm just being silly, people. I know, I, hey, if you're a Middle Eastern descent, you can go, hey, so brother number one, Ricky, Ricky, rap, rap, city, gun, pop a crack in your mama. Like, and I'd be like, gun, pop a crack in your mama. Pop a crack in your mama. You said I can do that? No, 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 a Middle Eastern oh, okay. or somebody that wants to make fun of No, no, I no. A, I have a great sense of humor. Yes. It doesn't bother me. So if, if Middle Eastern came up and did that to you, you would laugh? I would, hey. <laughs> hey. Number three. <laughs> number, you ready to move on to number three? Really quickly, are we, are, we, are we discussing Cabbage Patch? I'm out of it. A cabbage Patch, yeah. I don't care. Cabbage yeah. Patch is, I Guess don't care. Guess what, Heather? Number four, deal with it. Deal with it. Cabbage Patch is the number four. Number three, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be... Man, I, it just gets better and better. Let's see what <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What can you say? Yeah. What can you say? It happened. It happened. Argue that. Somebody argue that. Tell it me. It happened. Tell me. And, and, and can I be very honest with you? Mm -hmm. When we were really doing we were up late. This went oh, yeah. hours. This went hours. Oh, yes. And now, I mean, it, it literally, when we get to all of them, we might have a discussion about it. But the Rubik's Cube by itself put up three at, at as of 2009 mm -hmm. has sold 350 million units N nothing nothing on this list came close, came to, close that. to those numbers Come on. came close to those numbers how, how did hey and that's that's another it's a puzzle game yeah right yeah but they flipped puzzles on their ears they did i will never forget the way people would do them rubik's cubes and now they've taken to a whole other level nowadays but oh, my yeah? cousin uh -huh. beth okay beth used to be able to boom and it was done beth was and one of those i don't know how she did it yes beth was one of those yes she was a rubik savant she was a rubik savant and and I could barely get one side. You, I I wasn't bad, but it took me a while. Mm -hmm. It just 
you know, and I could get one good side, and then I would have like one orange. And I'm oh. like, God damn, what is going on? So that was my problem. But here's the thing. Do you remember in the 80s? Do you remember uh, ABC mm-hmm. came out with a television show? Rubik's. Yes, they did. He's our friend. <laughs> Rubik's. Look it up. Go to YouTube. It's, Rubik's it's, Cube it's, it's, had a, a cartoon, and he was like a, a genie. <laughs> He was like, what? What is it? Who's saying? Who's talking? One was like 350 million units. That's it. Masterpiece is so more wicked. Block that fool. Get him out of here. First of all. No, don't, First don't, of don't, don't acknowledge ignorance. You leave him and his ignorance right where it's at, okay? He is the definition of a troll. Somebody, you need to, <laughs> he you need is. to, you need to grow your hair back out and, and go find you some costume jewelry and put it in your belly. And, and then get out of here, you goddamn treasure troll. Beat it. Take Antonio Bandana and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Antonio Bandana. Real quick. Everybody, he's real snarky, right? Uh-huh. But he wanted to be known as the ghetto magician. I don't remember what his stage name was. But all I remember was his, his accomplice, he didn't have a, a magic girl, like whatever they call. Right. His sidekick was a a, a, a bandana from uh, gang banging, mm-hmm. and he was going to be the gangster magician, and it was Antonio Bandana. bandana. <laughs> I'm not making this up. This you you were there. Real. No, this is real. Okay. I was absolutely there for, for Antonio Bandana. And-, and he got over it. Like, he got the joke over. Like, we tried not to. Yeah. We tried not to laugh. Not and to he acknowledge just, it. He, he kept was- going. He kept going with Antonio Bandana, and it broke. Through. And now it, it remains as one of the greatest bits yep. of this family's history. I hate you and your stupid Bandana. I don't hate you. You know I love you. Uh, so Rubik's Cube is number two. Uh, oh, number Reggie, three. Reggie said um, Rubik's Cube is absolutely a generation-defining toy. I yes. agree with that. Yes. Reggie, you're unblocked for now. No, I don't know who he is. Who are you talking about? I don't know who he is. <laughs> Speaking of genre, what generation defining, oh, we're going to yeah. talk about genre yes. defining. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, at number two is. <laughs> the Transformers. Dun, 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 More dun, than meets the eye. Dun, 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 Transformers. Robots in disguise. There you go, my man. That's what's up. Hey, the Transformers. The Transformers. So here's what happened here. Let's talk about it. Here's what happened here. So you had Master of the Universe that made it far. You had G.I. Joe that made it far. And we said, hey, this list cannot be dominated by all action figures. Mm -hmm. So we, we got down to those and we said, which one is the greatest action figure on this list yes. and what happened we determined that transformers were uh-huh. I, I don't want to say head and shoulders but yeah. they they defined themselves they re- rose above the definition because uh-huh they were versatile they were you, you got you got two you got two two, two toys. toys in one in one you literally for every kid that was in the hot wheels mm-hmm. and then micro machines yes right yes you then got a car, right? Yep. Then you got an action a figure. You a got robot an action, action figure. figure with a gun. Listen, speaking of guns, I, huh? as a young man growing up in the G. Yeah, okay, let's hear it. I used to take Megatron. Oh. And I would not form him into a robot. And I had him when I would carry him around. I thought I was badass. Ruger. And by around, I mean my house. I didn't take it outside. You didn't take it outside? <laughs> no. You wouldn't have got shot and I, killed in the park, eh, so it's okay. Eh, who knows? Nah, I know. Yeah. You wouldn't have died. No? Okay. Nah. I'm not worried about the cops. Oh. <laughs> Touche. Hey, the white boy got a gun. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. <laughs> but it's a robot. We know. <laughs> Damn. Right. <laughs> just want to shoot you. Mm. Rude. But Transformers, man, and we you want to talk about staying power? Yeah. Yeah. They have how many successful films right now? Yeah. They keep coming out with cartoons. Mm-hmm. They keep coming out with action figures. Yep. There is no greater action figure 
than the Transformer. Yeah. None. Yeah. Bar none. And I wasn't a huge Transformer collector. I right. wasn't. No, I had the not, ones that I liked. Yeah. I, definitely I was had a, Optimus. I had Megatron, Starscream, a yeah. couple other ones. Yeah. My favorite was Red Alert. Nobody knows. He was a obscure. Red Alert was my favorite. You don't know why yeah. Red Alert was my favorite? Why? Because he was a Lamborghini. L-A-M-B-O-R-G-H-I-N-I. Yeah. He was a Lamborghini Countach, and the doors went up. And we all know that I love them Lambo doors, baby. We all know I love them Lambo doors. He was red alert. He was, who's saying something? It's Reggie. What do you say? And he's just making a prediction for number don't, one. Don't, don't listen. No, 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 Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Transformers. You get a lot of love for number two. Yeah, Transformers. Transformers. Yeah. It's bar none. It, we should, you know, how you should have introduced it. You said, yeah. "Do you know?" Should say, "Do you know what number two is?" Here's a hint. Here, here's a hint. <laughs> so that's a good reference. Um, we're gonna take a quick break. Do we have a break lined up? Do we have a break? No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, sure, we have a break lined up. Yeah, we're ready. We, do we have one of them old commercials we could play? <laughs> oh, I don't want to get in trouble. We've been getting in trouble lately. We've been, yeah. Trouble. 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 <laughs> no? Still no break? So, oh, okay. Let's just, let's, let's take our break. Okay. He's going to take a break oh, now. okay. Here we He's go. He's going to take a break. Here we go. Here's a break. Stay right there and don't talk. Oh, hello. <laughs> No, I'm not Santa. I'm Jayco from FCN, but boy do I have a gift for you. Join us and watch our 12 Days of Christmas list starting December 12th, every day at 7 p.m. Come watch with us. You'll be glad you did. 12 Days of Christmas list. December 12th through the 23rd, nightly at 7 p.m., only on the Fifth Column Network. At number one, it is the all-time leading badass gaming machine. It is the NES and the Game Boy. You, you had to put them together. Yeah, absolutely. You had to put absolutely. them together. It was, it was just an extension of. It, listen, there is, there is no company like Nintendo that has the staying power of any game system, or any game for that matter, yeah. out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're still, we are still playing Nintendo to this day. Yeah. With the Wii U, what's the new uh, device? The Switch. The Switch, Switch. Yep. Yep. Which is all still based off of what Game Boy technology, yeah. Yeah. right? Then the NES that that put out there the greatest selling video game of all time, Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Like it, I, I don't know. I, I I didn't think that it would be number one. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be in the top three. Right. It it actually came out as number one. Oh yeah, it, it, I, I I don't think it was a question when you. You know, when we first thinking about it, yeah. But yeah. when you really put everything together, it's yeah. just like, it's no question. It was, it defined, it, it set a new standard. I mean, people yeah. were trying to catch up with Nintendo for years. And it wasn't yeah. just graphics. It was just having the best games, having original, you know what I mean, parts to it. And then, like you said, when Game Boy came out, everybody tried to do their own handheld. Everybody followed Nintendo. But you know what's funny is, so like Tiger Games, like mm -hmm. Nintendo didn't create anything new like right. they they right. the, the coleco vision was out there atari. uh, uh it, what is it uh activision and television yep. uh atari but for somehow um who who mentioned markability and a commercial appeal the nes had it all mm -hmm. in spades yes and then they just kept innovating you know and so like tiger games had those great handheld games remember like they had uh double oh, yeah. uh dribble they had uh double dragon they had a bunch of those Little handheld games yep. and the Tiger, and then they had them in the early '80s, the Miss Pac-Man and Donkey Kong machines, mini arcades, the mini yep. arcades. And but Game Boy <clears throat> and NES just captivated a generation. Anybody oh. got any comments out there? No, nah, they all going yes, yes, yes. It's the NES, huh? Yep. Okay, so did anybody predict that number one was going to be the NES? Uh, the Reggie Mathis. Y'all look, I was about to lead them. 
riot and burn down the facility. Yeah, burn Reggie down. said he was going to burn down the facilities, and then some random woman, I don't know who she is, said, uh, don't burn down the FCN Center for Children. Yes, do not burn, because part of the facility of the uh, 10,000 square foot uh, facility uh, is the, the FCN, FCN Center for Children. Center for Children, yeah. who can't read so good. Who? That's the full name of. That's the full name of it. Mm-hmm. People don't know yeah. the FCN facility for children. Yep. Who can't read who so? Can't good. read so good. Yeah. I and agree. their parents, <laughs> <laughs> who also don't read much. Yes. And yes is actually in yes. The, yes. It's in the title. It's in the title. <laughs> with the wrong punctuation. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Revolution. This is Jayco. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you got did you guys have a good time? I hope you had a good time. I did. I had a I literally listen, you guys don't understand this. I have a great time with you all. Do you have I have a great time with the FCN universe? I love them. They are very funny. They have great comments. Any more comments out there? I heard that there were a bunch. Do we have any that we can mention? Anybody any other comments? Any other comments? Uh Jay Mills was going on a rant about Oh yeah. J. Mills wanted Light Bright. Light Bright, yeah, yeah. Didn't make it. And we'll tell you why that didn't make it. Yeah, it, it wasn't actually in the 80s. There you go. It wasn't in the 80s. Earlier, sorry. It was a lot earlier. Uh, Easy Bake Oven, a lot of this stuff just didn't make it. Yeah, the Easy Bake Oven, a lot of stuff just didn't yeah. make it. So it was really trying to keep stuff in that era in time. Who else? Any other comments? Uh, not at all. Not, No? Okay, nobody can well. scroll. Uh, so, hey, make sure you stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow we are having uh, 12 Days of Christmas, mm-hmm. and this list is going to be office, office party, party happenings. happenings. Yes. The best, or is it going to be like the worst of the, it's the, the total of the shenanigans of office party happenings hosted by a very own, um, what's her name? That is she still blocked? No, yeah, she's blocked. I can't see her on here. What's, she's blocked. Yeah. Okay. I believe uh, the person used to be called H Dub. H Dub. H Dub was the name. That was they the gave num- her. Was the name that they gave mm-hmm. her. Okay. She she's gonna be hosting. Uh, who's on that show with her? Oh, uh, I think uh, I think that other guy that the other guy was that's commenting blocked? but got blocked is somebody be on there. the uh, the sketchy uh, Paxis. <laughs> These sketchy Paxis, okay. Who else? Who else? Who else? Producer? Produce, damn it! I can't sit here and do this. Oh! We have the worst What is staff. happening here? I'm going to tell y'all something. When J. Cole Ravo get on stage, on film, on screen, all hell breaks loose. All hell breaks loose back there. Before we hit play. First of all, both of y'all are going to be on, so Ooh. Oh no, I'm not gonna be. Uh-uh. I, I don't think I ever agreed to that one. Uh, oh my god! Oh lord! We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see about that. If, I hope this is not real when the FCN studios starts burning down. Okay, who else? Uh, D. Reggie Mathis. Okay. And Gabby. Oh my goodness, that is gonna be one lit show. Yes. Join us tomorrow, 7 p.m. Barring any, you know, malfeasance. Is that the word? That's not the word. Malfeasance. Sure. What is that? What does that malfeasance? mean? Malfeasance. Malfeasance. Mm-hmm. Malfeasance. Yeah. Give a. I, what did I? What did I, I tell you a, that I shop? On. I don't give a malfeasance. About I don't this. listen, fam. <laughs> I didn't go to fuckco. No. What are you over there doing? Oh. I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna play with these toys hey, now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, like, share, subscribe. Do everything cool and awesome to let us know. Send us five-star reviews on Facebook. Uh, Thank you all so much for joining us. We are the five. This has been the Fifth Column Network. This has been the 12 Days of Christmas list. Best 80s gifts. I am the Revolution. This is J. Cole. See you all tomorrow. Mm.